Hello and welcome to the last math lesson of this week. I know it's only the third lesson, but because this is a Labor Day week, we have a shorter work week. Today we're going to be doing some decimal review. So reviewing what we've learned the past two weeks about decimals. All right, let's jump into it. Remember, we have learned about decimal place value and about how the decimal point is really the center of all of our numbers. We learned that one place to the right is my tenth place, two places is hundredths, and I can remember it by saying tenth. A dime is ten cents, there's ten dimes in a dollar. Hundredths. A penny is, you need 100 pennies to get a dollar, so it's one hundredths. And we reviewed that one place to the left is my ones place, just like one dollar. Two places is my tens place, like a ten dollar bill. And three places is hundredths, like a hundred dollar bill. We also learned about the decimal place value chart. Decimal points right in the middle. Going to my right, I have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Going to my left, I have ones, tens, hundreds, thousandths. All right, guys. Then we also learned how to add and subtract decimals. So if I have 0 and 6 hundredths, and I'm adding that to 0 and 9 tenths, I learned that always with decimals I need to rewrite the problem. I put 0 and 6 tenths. Six hundredths, I mean, on the top. And I line up the decimal point, fill it in with my nine tenths, put my addition sign and my equal sign. We learned that we put the nothing with a zero. And then we learned that before we crunch our numbers, we bring that decimal point straight down, very important. And then we added 6 and 0, 0 and 9, 0 and 0. And I would read the answer as 6 hundredths plus 9 tenths equals 96 hundredths. All right. We also learned how to subtract. We learned that when we have... 676 and 54 hundredths, subtract 196 and 9 tenths, but just like with addition, I need to line up on the decimal point. I put the first number on top, 676 and 54 hundredths, I make sure to put the decimal point straight underneath the other one and then fill in with the 196 and 9 tenths. I put my subtraction sign in the equal bar. We learned that we fill in the nothing with a zero. We learned that before we subtract, we got to bring that decimal point straight down. And then we learned to subtract just like we've always been doing. For subtract zero, 
5 subtract 9, can't do that, bar from the 6. 6 becomes 5. The 1 goes over here. We now read this as 15. 15 subtract 9 is 5 subtract 6. I can't do that. I borrow from the 7. 7 becomes 6. 5 becomes 15. 15 subtract 6 is 6 subtract 9. I can't do that. I borrow from the 6. 6 becomes 5. 6 becomes 16. 16 subtract 9. And 5 subtract 1. We learn that I read the answer as 479 and 64 hundredths. All right, guys. On your assignment today, you're going to put those review principles into practice. And then you'll notice that the last question, number 15, says stretch your thinking. That's going to be extra credit.